Well, uh, I want to talk about the structure of a R syntax, or to be more precise, R script file. Uh, now we're already in R Studio. So we have R Studio open. And R Studio, um, if you remember, has four windows, right? And this upper left corner window uh, is what's usually called source window. That's where we edit uh, our R script file. And down below, um, the left bottom, okay, the left bottom uh, window is called interactive console window. And that's where we interact with an R and uh, try out some of the commands. So here, I'm just gonna copy and paste a couple of lines from my R script file and uh, execute uh, these uh, lines um, line by line. So first I um, create a data array, education, right? See that? Uh, once I hit enter, we see that uh, there is a uh, data array object created in our um, upper right corner window. And that's what is called environment history connections and tutorial window. In most cases, uh, what we will see in that window, uh, excuse me, in that window, by default, we will see objects uh, that we create during uh, the process of data management and analysis. Of course, we can check out history, we had connections and tutorial, et cetera. But by default, it, it's set to global environment. And uh, let's continue. We enter another line of command, just copy and paste, income. Okay. And what I plan to do is to plot okay, uh, education against income. Okay. And now we see on the right bottom corner of the window, we have a uh, plot uh, showing up. And uh, that window, it's called files, plots, packages, help, and viewer. Uh, that's where quite often we check out the help file for packages and functions we plan to use or using. And uh, uh, that's where plots uh, show up. Okay, and we can uh, continue, copy and paste into uh, the interactive console, hit enter. Okay. And now we see there's a regression line added to the scatter plot, okay? Now you, you get a general sense of how this interactive console works out. Basically, what we're gonna do is to enter line by line, function by function, and command by command uh, to kind of interact with R. And after we hit enter uh, button, we will see results somewhere, right? Um, for graphs, we will see graphs in the uh, graph window, right? Uh, the right bottom window. And uh, if there are any statistical results, we will see in the console, okay? Uh, well, um, kind of this way of interacting with R is uh, very uh, intuitively comprehensible, but the problem is it's not very very reproducible. That is, if we want to, uh, let's say, follow the exact order that we just uh, did and uh, reproduce the results, uh, this line by line interaction is probably going to ca uh, cause trouble. Because after I close out this session and uh, let's say. Uh, reopen, let's say, uh, two or, you know, uh, three days later, I don't think we can uh, remember what we did two days ago. So that's the reason why I want to use uh, our script file in which we can uh, record everything uh, we plan to do okay, and in the order we want. 
right? And um, okay, 